Troy, nice interception on Saturday. You know, we were talking to Coach Jake Spavitt all about it, and he said that he thought you were going to score a touchdown, but it looked like you went towards the quarterback. Yeah. Is that something you were doing a little intentional, trying to get a little nah, physical? Nah, man, I was just tied, too excited, too excited. That was my first uh, career pick, my D1. So I was a little geeked. I should have went to school, but I keep watching it. I'm mad about it. So you didn't get one at Utah State? That was your first one ever? Yeah, I ain't had a pick since Juco, oh, wow. unless it was practice. Um, Troy, you know, I, I read that you were um, you were going to kind of play nickel that last year at Utah State, um, and it seems like here you, you moved back to safety. Is that kind of more of a comfortable posi position for you at safety? Mm, I mean, I think I'm comfortable anywhere. I don't want to say it like that. It's not big-headed, but I think I'm comfortable anywhere, but nah, I, I don't know. I just do whatever they tell me to do. They know what's best for me and what fits in the scheme. I'm not really tripping. Well, um, tell us about um, kind of the South Alabama game and, and how you guys were able to make that comeback and pull off the win in fourth overtime. Uh, we knew going into the game, it was going to be like that type of game. Uh, probably going to came down who's, who, who's the toughest. More of a defensive game. They said they had the uh, best defense and they had a couple star receivers and stuff like that. So we already knew it was going to be like a dog fight. So all this week we uh, tried to go into practice, treating it that way. And we knew it was going to come down to that. So we just kept fighting, kept fighting. Me, I was just trying not to look at the scoreboard and just keep trying to go away. We go where uh, Coach uh, Spavitar was giving us the calls and all that, try to do what he's telling us to do. I know he got what's best for us uh, at hand. That's all I did. wasn't really tripping like that. Yeah, I think it's best to get a DB to judge this call. Sammy Obiang's play, was that an interception or a fumble recovery? Mm. Damn. I, said, uh, I don't know. That's kind of iffy. I think the, the running back got scared and just threw it. <laughs> so I don't know. I don't know if we count that as a pass, but we would actually give him an interception. Yeah. <laughs> so he can have one. What, how were y'all treating him on the sideline after that play? What was it like? So I was in a post. So when that happened, I was in a post. So I'm kind of far. I can see everybody. When the running back threw it, I'm like, what is he doing? I was trying to figure out what he was doing. Now I see Sammy got it. I'm like, what? But then I don't know. I, I was happy for him, though, when he came to the sideline, though. Another turnover for us. I was happy, though. Do you wish somebody would throw you the ball that easily? Yeah, I be talking about that all the time. Tyran, everybody get gifts like that. I don't get those. You know, it was, it was a, a great performance on Saturday from the defense as a whole. You know, what, what was different in that game to the two games prior? Mm, I feel like we got our, our as Coach Fab would say, our stinger back. I feel like uh, lately we haven't been playing like we played the first two games. Uh, people wasn't as comfortable. We uh, focused on that. During our bye week and then coming up to the South Alabama game, we got back in the, in the detail of things and back in the rhythm, a little more physical. We always Our effort always did, but sometimes we're not always physical, executing things. I feel, think we focus on that. We got focused on that this week too, though. What, what are some of the things you guys are focusing on this week going up against Troy? Execution. Execution being physical, we got to throw the first punch. And win or lose, we got to make sure they, they banged up after the game too. What are you What are you anticipating from Troy's offense this week? Mm, me, I respect them. I think they do a lot. They back good, catching the ball out the backfield. Receivers good. So I think I'm I'm expecting them to give us a lot of things. Go, they're gonna empty the tank on us, especially after what we did last week. And I think this our championship game. To be honest with you, every week from now on is our championship game, not the other way around. I think we got to coach every game like that. I think that's kind of the same mentality teams taking. This is each week is a championship week. Oh yeah, yeah, we got something to prove. You know what I'm saying? We 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 not we know what we can do within our unit, but we gotta start showcasing that all the time. I feel like all the time we don't showcase that. We gonna have to do that more. So I think if we take an approach every game a championship game, we'll be all right. You know the your last name Leftridge. It's pronounced Leftridge, but it's not spelled that way. <laughs> What's up with the pronunciation? And granted, um, I have a name similar where it's pronounced different than it's spelled. No, so. I don't know how that. I don't. I don't know how that happened. I don't know where it came from, what, what's going on, but it's Leftridge. Like, I had a cousin that played college ball. They said his name all types of ways. I, I think I'm the one that solidified it by saying left-hand refrigerator. I think I made it easy for everybody. He ain't do that. He ain't care about it, but I, I care. Left-handed refrigerator, you yeah, said? Yeah, Leftridge. All right, we'll remember that. <laughs>